Everyone who knows Candace Walsh, 27, describes her as a hopeless romantic, someone with long pre-Raphaelite curls, a tendency to draw red hearts in her jeans, and to blush big, as one friend put it, around men she likes. On the afternoon of February 20th, she decided to cheer herself up, so she visited Vaughn, a neighborhood wine bar. Ms. Walsh was the only customer there when Peter Rene Goji walked in. On May 13th, they were married at St. Mark's Church in the Bowery. Afterward, the couple said they planned to stay in their apartment between Avenues C and D and eventually start a family. We have a little shelf in our apartment that has a Sesame Street playhouse and a child's painting on it, the bride said. That's for our child. It's just waiting. I think it's too hard. I think it's too hard to read it. Yeah. It, it just, it's like kind of... <laughs> right before we, we really hit the wall on, on our marriage, I remember thinking, I have a good job, I have two beautiful children, I have a wife, I have a high, nice house. This is the American dream, and, and is this what I want? I think we did work on it. And I think sometimes it's really, really hard and you work on it and it works. And sometimes it's really, really hard and you work on it and it still doesn't work. We had like kind of a weird little argument on Christmas of 2006. I think I said something like, maybe this is just not, maybe we've already had the best times we're gonna have. Maybe it just doesn't get any better from here. In the beginning, it was like chemistry and honeymoon and let's have babies. And once that all settled down, we had each other and whew, kind of just not clicking, I think. I think marriage is wonderful. I really do. I am not anti-marriage. And I do plan on getting married again. Even in my relationship now, I, I have brought my, what I've learned from my mistakes to my next relationship. Because I know, it's like I know what can happen when you go to bed angry. I know what can happen when you hold stuff in. I was 100% in my relationship with Peter, but as we changed and grew, I was ready to try it on 100% dating a woman and I did and I'm happy I did. What, what I tried not to do is take that and project back into the relationship and say aha that's why blah 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 didn't work out and it's I kind think, of a free pass but I'm glad he didn't do it. You know, but, but it <laughs> it's, it's easy to do that. I mean, that that's, you know, we're always looking for the reason why we're not culpable for the end of a relationship. We really tried hard to find what was interesting to the other person interesting. For years I think both of us were just like, well, let's not talk about it, <laughs> you know? Let's just coast. And then maybe you get to a point where whatever brought you to each other in the first place has kind of just gotten lost. And it's gone. I really do want to see Peter with somebody who loves to blast Bartok. <laughs> I think that would be great. I don't, I don't care for that myself. Sometimes we think in life that the, the love dies or the love goes away, but I think that the love just changes. The Candace that I married, I loved her. The Candace who was sitting right next to me, I'm divorced from, I love even more than the Candace I married. We care for each other, we care for our kids. We wanna go forward, how can we do that in a beautiful way? 